Hi, I'm Savannah, homeschooling mom of four, and I'm here to help you as you are suddenly doing school at home. Today is day one, and our theme is all about the planets. So today you will find resources that all tie into the same theme for kindergarten through fifth grade. Now I wanted to show you on the website, you're going to see these topics every day. So we will have a video every day, something to read and write every day, a math activity, science and social studies, an art project or a craft, and then an, act, an idea for them to go and play. And we try to get them outside, um, if at all possible, for those activities. So today, all of these things are centered around the theme planets, even for your older kids. So I like to start my days off with a book, a read aloud. Even your bigger kids like picture books. So if you have a picture book about the planets, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find that book. <laughs> if you don't have a book about planets, no problem. We have also linked under the reading and writing section, a YouTube video of someone reading a book out loud about planets, so that's really fun. All right, so that's how I like to start the day off. The next thing you'll wanna do, and hopefully you can do this before the kids wake up or while they're eating breakfast, is get everything printed off. So you're gonna wanna go to each of the grade levels that um, go with your children, and you're gonna wanna print off anything that needs to be printed. So under math today, we have a couple of worksheets that need to be printed off. And then some of our older kids are gonna be doing a science research project today on one of the planets. So you'll wanna print off those and just kinda of get everything laid off. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to your kitchen table and lay it all out. If it helps you to make sort of a rough schedule of your day, then do that. I have found that putting specific times on the schedule does not always work out because things kinda of happen during the day, especially if you're working. You might get an IM from your boss and you need to do a quick call, and so the times kinda of get thrown off. But what I would suggest is just laying out the goals for the day, okay? So you wanna make sure we're gonna do our read aloud and then you might need to check your email while the kids watch the first video on the planets. And then you might all together do your first math assignment, that type of thing. If you know you have several conference calls today, then you might map that around activities that the kids could do on their own. And you'll notice that some of the worksheets and stuff the kids can definitely do on their own. All right, and so then what I like to do is just lay it out on the kitchen table. Um, in the middle of the table, I'd put some pins and some paper, um, maybe even a little snack, just to kind of keep them all centered here around the table. So another little tip I wanted to give you was um, for the week, to kind of set up maybe uh, some check boxes or like a plan for the week for the, you want, you wanna make sure the kids don't forget to do these things. Um, that's what honestly this is. This is really for me, but I have my three older kids' names here and you can see my five-year-old doesn't have to do as much as my bigger kids, but these are just little check boxes and as they do them, they empty the dishwasher, they read for 25 minutes, all of those things. Um, we check it off. And we just wanna make sure we get done with these by the end of the week. You could tie this to some type of a reward if you wanted. You could just do a treasure box of things from the dollar store, um, or you could you know, give them a dollar or something if they complete that. That's totally up to you. All right, so after you've got it all laid out, then you guys are ready to go. Our lessons are probably gonna take you anywhere between you know, two hours to four hours kind of depends on how you want to make it work. You don't have to do all of the lessons that we provide to you. If you just want to pick and choose, that is fine. But we hope that these things are easy to use, are fun to use. And um, we hope the kids learn something really fun about planets today. Y'all are doing a great job. Please be inspired and give yourself grace today as you do this. Thanks. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.